and welcome back to Cap That Flag. Today we're continuing our Pico CTF series with a challenge titled Keygen Me Dash Pi. It's worth 30 points. It's from Pico CTF 2021 and it's in the reverse engineering category. And the description just links to a Python file. So we'll start by downloading the file using wget. And now let's have a look at the code. So opening up this Python code, the first thing we can see is that there's part of a flag here. And it looks as if there's a static component first, then this dynamic eight character string in the middle, and then the end of this, the flag here. And this key full template trial variable is made up of those three other variables put together. So jumping down further in the code, we have this enter license function and it takes uh, input from the user. It's asking for a license key and it's storing in this user key variable. And then it's running the check key function and supplying that user key variable as well as this username trial variable, which is a byte object. And if we scroll back up to the top, we can see the value is Freeman. So that byte object with the value of Freeman gets passed into this check key function along with the user input. And if the check key function returns true, it will then run a decrypt function with the correct user key. So looking at this check key function, again, we have the user input and the, the Freeman variable as a byte object. And the first thing it does is it makes sure the length of the user input is, is the same as the length of the expected key. So this variable, if we jump back up again, is made up of these three parts of the key up here. So if the lengths don't match, then it will return false. Then it's gonna look character by character through the initial part of the flag that's the static part. It's going to compare the user input character with the expected character. And if any of them don't match, it will again return false. So this is the part of the code that is going through the dynamic flag part of the user input. And it's going to compare that with the expected value for a correct license key. So it's determining the correct character by using this hash lib and performing a SHA-256 hash on the username trial variable, which is the string Freeman converted into a byte object and taking the hex digest of that and then looking at, at the character in position number four which would be the fifth character of the digest. So just to demonstrate this, we'll jump into Python quickly and we, we first need to import the hashlib module. And then this line of code will give us the SHA-256 hash digest of the string Freeman. And then for the first character in the dynamic part of the flag, we're looking for the character at index of four, which would be the fifth character along. So we would expect it to be one, two, three, four, five. We expect it to be a zero. And we can check that by just adding four to the end and we get that zero. So for the eight characters in the, in the dynamic part of the flag, we've got the first one here. The second character will be at index five. Third character will be index three, then index six, index two, index seven, index one, and index eight. We're gonna go write some Python code that will calculate the flag now. And so I'll jump ahead when I finished and show you the code. So here's some code that will pull out the final flag. And we have to start by importing hashlib to be able to do the hashing further down. We, we need the static parts of the flag as well. Then for readability, I'm storing the output of the SHA-256 hash digest in a variable called temp. 
And I'm just building up the dynamic part of the flag with the temp variable and the indexes specified in the other code. So four, five, three, six, two, seven, one, and eight. And then we build the finished flag up and print it out. So if we run that now, we see the flag. So that wraps things up for this episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.